Hey guys, really excited to be on with you and adding to my pandemic um, course. So this section here is pandemic parent strength, six keys to creating positive uh, energy in your home. Um, we're gonna be adding on to, or this is another portion of pandemic, um, navigating the emotions course that, um, that I've put together. Um, if you haven't checked out the whole course, please um, jump in there and get more information about navigating the emotions. Before we begin, here's some of my background thinking and things that uh, or kind of the foundation for the way that I feel about uh, making things go effectively is inside out, and this matches it. So if we can manage ourselves as parents, we help the children to see how to manage themselves while we are creating an environment for them to succeed if that is their choice. With these keys, you will you will still spend energy. It will just be more proactive and, um, than reactive. So uh, that kind of changes our sense of out of control or overwhelm and it switches it to, to feeling like we are in control. Uh, we need that background, that concept as we go through these keys. The first key that I have is food. Um, so thinking about it as preparation and eating on time. The task of food, including preparing and eating, is a common contributor to moods and family um, confrontation. I can't think of how many times I've been hungry and, uh, and in a bad mood because of it. Um, and then I watch the rest of the family kind of interact the same way. Um, delayed eating times or trying to figure out food last minute is a challenging task when moods and hunger are at their worst. Um, and so the key here is have your food um, figured out with simple, quick, healthy ideas where the kids can actually get involved and contribute. Um, and they know when they're going to eat. So if their scheduled um, food times are visible for them and they helped create it, it's going to be really helpful. The healthier the food, the more you get um, a, a return on your investments. So you want to think about putting um, somehow getting some healthy items in there. I have an example of my own menu um, that, that I use as a skeleton to put together. Um, very simple for you to initially create. I created it on my phone um, in the notes section on an iPhone. Um, and I think that I put on here nutrition as a secret weapon. The more that you could think about what it is that you're eating and nutrition is on there um, um, at, at, at a high premium, you're going to get um, a lot out of that menu. Um, a food time example. So I, I have a map that I use um, and it, it's hand drawn so it doesn't exactly look like this and you can hand draw yours, um, but it makes a fun way for kids to be able to participate um, in, in um, getting their day done. Um, this will also or you can also use this as a timeline or a map for um, how they'll put their time together. Time is actually our next um, section here. So time, a daily map. You saw the map that we just um, looked at for food. You can do something similar for time. So when boredom and unpredictability raise up, family and home strive, follow. Um, rigidity is the opposite end of the spectrum and creates strain for both parents and children. So you don't want to be too far on, on one end of the other. Uh, we'll talk about one of our focuses um, here in a second as a key, but the key to making time go well is um, use something like a daily map that we just showed you to schedule and share your days with the kids so that they have a rough sketch of the day. The, the more that they know what's going on and they can prepare for it, um, the better for them. Preparation of a daily routine is important. So having um, some kind of um, flow that you have every day that, that helps them to kind of know what's going to happen is helpful. Keep small routines and practices. So build in small little morning routines that you can just plug into your day. Um, and then be flexible and adjust. So we don't want to be too rigid to her. We say, nope, this is Tuesday and you can't do anything else on Tuesday. We wanna to try to map it out so that there's some flexibility in there. Relationship as a catalyst. Um, so tasks, power struggles, and fear become the fights and challenges between parent and child. This becomes the fuel for how to relate to one another. It becomes standard. So it's really scary because we get off of our, um, off of our real focus as parents once we uh, start getting involved in trying to get things done, um, which is understandable, but we have to have relationship as a catalyst for interaction. Um, make the relationship more important than winning work or power. Uh, show up with, you, with who you want to be as a person, not allowing your child's behaviors to predict your mood and responsibility to yourself as a person. Sleep. 
Um, so you wanna sleep on time and um, have good sleep patterns. So your family's tolerance, adjustability and resilience through challenging moments rely heavily on our sleep patterns and sleep duration. Uh, the key here is everyone needs to sleep on time, decrease staying up late, and wake up with purpose. This is most effective when the house shuts down, even though the kids may not go to sleep. Let go of fighting them. Make sure that the house, as a practice, um, gets up at a certain time, um, goes to sleep at, at a certain time. And so um, the kids will, will eventually follow and get into the pattern that's needed for sleep and for, um, for sleep to contribute to our relationships positively drain energy so pent up frustration and energy broken expectations low self-value and depression can lead to quick outbursts limited motivation and unreasonable behavior when you get a chance stop and think about that i mean um our our energy drain is really important the more that we're able to um, express ourselves in um, through vigorous exercise or just play in general it really is helpful to to our bodies even as adults so we want to get our children interested in their own muscle and fitness or mastery of some exercise. Plan it as a goal and plug it in as a daily challenge. Exercise is a must for kids. They need ways to drain energy and build sense of self. So I mentioned a lot about exercise in here, but I think play and natural interaction of a child is to be free and to, and to be able to play in a way that, it's, um, that expresses their energy. And so we want to allow that and make sure that we have, um, have that in their, um, in their daily interaction love so agendas fears power struggles fatigue and codependency easily take us off track of our bigger picture um, and create a cycle of unwanted interaction so the key here with love is to show up um, as you would want your children to show up when they are frustrated tired or even out of options the theme must be love fight to bring the energy that is focused and loving Use your own self-talk and timelines to keep making the decisions to be loving. And so I put a little um, kind of some words that you can use for your, your own self-talk. So master the next five minutes by showing up with strength and in control of myself. Being disrespected doesn't mean I'm not respected. Continue to respect myself by showing up in a loving, strong way. Um, and then also outside of the moments of heat. So when it's not an intense moment, let love be the reason you prepare and tap into creativity. So we have our six keys to creating positive energy in your home. And so the first one was food preparation and eating on time. The, the second one was time and a daily map. Um, relationship as a catalyst, sleep on time and pattern, draining energy, um, and then finally to love. So as a final note, um, I think that the most important um, piece here is that uh, we try to move from being reactive to proactive. And if that method or that, that movement helps us to create a different kind of energy in our home, and ultimately the way that we are going to be interacting or the reason that we will do that is so that we can have the relationships and create the loving interaction that we want. I think it's a very difficult time and I admire all of our parents for um, being able to figure things out between work and adjusting um, their schedules and trying to keep their family safe. Every family has such a different dynamic and, and unique dynamic. Uh, I myself am here, I'm here to uh, consult or, or talk with anybody who's, um, who needs a little bit more information, but I, I want to uh, let my parents know that you know, I admire what you guys are doing and the, the battle that you're putting forward to make sure that your kids are healthy. Um, continue to fight for, for your relationship and to love your children.